If here employed, perhaps it is time you quitted. But, as the saying goes, one may be employed without serving. This Ridleyo is sponsored by Freekeen.com. In the preceding disaster and bailout, this institution and others of its largely rotted industry were not lain low by the Great Recession, but it weakened you, placed you into the healthy, but for you sickening glow of study and skepticism from an angry public. For those, for this, uh, this lining of silver, uh, which we may uh, thank the watchdogging and truth-telling, uh, no, uh, the, for, for this lining of silver, we may thank the watchdogging and truth-telling by those who knew you uh, better than we. Withdrawing as I have my membership in this particular squadron of banksters during 2011, on the precise day requested by its enemies and removing as best I am able my commerce from your citadel there is little more I can lawfully do to you but the same cannot be said of those who have perhaps reluctantly remained hmm. at their questionable stations on this pirate oceanic Do you, a weather cleaning service, or high executive in cloud scraping office, this appeal? Restore, while time remains, your honor and agency. Take such actions as you are lawfully and ethically able. If here employed, perhaps it is time you quitted and cause them the expense of finding your replacement. But, as the saying goes, one may be employed without serving. Bugger. Ah, there is a... We will to share a document here. We will be employed without serving up. As you want to be employed. Ah, perhaps, perhaps it is time to withdraw, if you dare, your own funds from this asylum of the extravagant. Or if that would be a matter of danger, put fewer in. Monies, as they say, must go somewhere. I refer you to the aforementioned Mr. Antonopoulos and his cryptographic alternatives. You may, able, you may be able to share the, the document, what you have seen here. And the collusion with predatory alphabetical bureaucracies, the ill treatment of records or books, the failure to obey as promised a thousand restrictive strings, surely placed in exchange for dubious Washington rescue. Perhaps the most luminous thing you could do is the constructive option uh, I have uh, I have not thought of which exudes from your initiative our loyalty whatever our employment is supposed to be aimed in the direction of our unharmful customer our offspring our humanity so few of these are unimperiled by the rapacious avarice of your uh, avarice, avarice, avarice of your industry. And here comes the other part of the government. Mm. Always an emergency. Always an emergency. Always an emergency. Always a crisis. Um. If the uh, loyalty, um, mm, whatever the country, humanity, so few of these would be unimpaired, um, 
So a few of these are uh, are unimperiled uh, by the the um, the rapacious avarice of uh, your industry. Do not allow yourself to be placed in a position where you are asked by your descendants, oh, "Why did you serve those banksters? Why did you try to do and stop them?" And be forced to embellish your answer in vain hope of evading the disdain of your grandchildren. Freaking, freaking, <laughs> no. Dot com isn't freaking dot com. Do I even need to tell you what it's about if I'm singing such an awesome song? Freaking dot com.